So we have to make this a two-part segment because my fucking camera phone died. God damn it. Um, but here it is close up, man. The Ted Levine plaque. Uh, it rubs the lotion on its skin. It puts the lotion in the basket. So this is super badass, Thomas. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I have little wall hangers that I save that I'm just gonna go ahead and mount right here and hang it right on my wall like this so. I think it's a great, great tribute. I love it. Very cool, Thomas. Here's the death head moth I'm gonna display with it. I'll probably take him out and um, place him somewhere. Might place him uh, up in one of the corners, you know, whatever. There's the Death Head Moth. I bought this on eBay. This is real. This is like 35, 40 bucks. And they're not cheap, but whatever. But this is super fucking cool. I love it, man. Yeah, I really do. Uh, he offered it to me for a pretty good price, and I couldn't refuse it, man. And uh, this is one of my favorite movies and favorite uh, actors in a movie, in this role, the favorite role in a movie of all time, pretty much. Uh, it's, it's just, it's, it's great, man. He fucking kills it. And I can't see this guy in any other, like, he, he played in a TV series. I just can't see him in anything else and take it seriously after watching this. Uh, after knowing what he, that, that he played in this. I like this plaque he made. It's cool. I like to texturize my ceiling like that. That'd be cool as shit. But I gotta cut this video kind of short, guys, because it's my stepdad's birthday, and I think they're out there. So, just wanted to touch base with you guys again, and uh, you know, get these videos going again. I know you guys like seeing them. Uh, I like making them for you. Um, you know, just go over the pieces and see some stuff you know you've never seen before, and keep things fresh. So yeah, I got a cool piece coming up um, at the end of the week. You don't see too many of um, Chuck Jarman. Uh, he does f awesome, awesome work uh, for a very, very good price. So if you guys uh, want his info, let me know. He's on Etsy. Um, really cool guy. Took him about two or three weeks to knock out my um, Orville from um, Children Should Not Play With Dead Things. It turned out great. He showed me a picture today. He lives in Cali. It should take about a week to get here. He's sending it FedEx. So it should be here by week's end, I would assume, at the longest. But um, yeah, I'm real excited to get that. Uh, then I got Lewis Fry's Part 2 Freddy, when I, and I went ahead and ordered the glass eyes with that. Uh, I, I, I love the depth that glass eyes gives pieces in general, whatever. I'm over the painted eyes on, um, on like resin busts now. I'm just not really into it, man. Uh, unless you're like an incredible painter and can paint those things looking like real eyes, and I'm, I, I'm good on it. Or if it's like a demon eye and there's really not much you really need to do, then fuck it. Like Regan, you know, she had like the yellow and just like a black dot or whatever, but I like to see depth in eyes uh, at this point in, my, in, in collecting. So, yeah. And then um, that Freddy he does is fucking great. I'm so glad I didn't buy the... Uh, um, what was it, the NCC, or ECC, I'm really glad I didn't buy that one, that thing is amazing, it's probably one of the best I've seen, the only thing I don't like about it is where the arm cuts off, I wish they would have taken it straight down, um, other than that, the thing is fucking amazing, but I don't want to pay all that extra money for the fucking base, and the LED and shit, I just basically just want Freddy, you know, so this Lewis thing's perfect for me, it's got like the little, you know, chest bust, you know, like, mid torso kind of deal all resin glass eyes with the acrylic teeth it's going to be fucking awesome because everybody knows how uh, amazing of a painter lewis is guy's incredible and he works full time and, and has time to do all that and in, in, in his in his uh that's a real passionate guy right there he's lewis is a beast and then we got a, a regan coming from thomas enos one of three made i got the first copy with that that thing was pricey um but uh silicone i cannot wait to see the end sculpt of it uh he showed me some update pictures and it's looking really fucking good the look he's going for is is awesome so i cannot wait to get that um 
that should be the sculpt should be done in about I think a week or two and then he's gonna start molding the first one molding it and then you know or whatever so uh, I'm real excited about that sculpts almost finished okay so all right well I'm gonna get off of here I'm wasting your time now talking about all this other shit so here it is there's old teddy boa let it focus in here there we go okay so yeah there it is man nice little tribute to ted from silence of the lamb or sure great big fat person like that's what i see when i see this piece right now sure great big fat person oh uh, you want to come in i got the card here somewhere <laughs> All right, man, Thomas, you're the man as usual. Uh, I'll be talking to you tonight, I'm sure. And uh, everybody else out there, take care, and we'll get you some more videos coming soon.